I'm Lucy Hale, and this is everything I eat in a day. Okay, the first thing I do when I wake up, and I hate to admit this, I check my phone. Actually, that's not true, I pee, and then I'll check my phone. What's the app? I mean, I'll probably like check Instagram. I know it's so bad, but one of my goals during this quarantine is to set aside 30 minutes in the morning before I do anything to make a cup of coffee or meditate or journal. I've done it a couple of days. It's just so hard to break that cycle, but I am working on it. I am a breakfast person. I think about breakfast all the time. I like all the meals, but I think breakfast is definitely my favorite. Um, but my breakfast can vary from like a peanut butter perfect food bar to like chocolate chip pancakes with bacon and eggs. Just kind of depends on the day. Out of coffee and tea, I am 155% more a coffee person. I keep trying to get into tea. I feel like it's very official and very adult, like a cup of tea before bed, but Dare I say it's boring? I, no offense, maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I'm drinking the wrong types of tea. Uh, but I love coffee any time of day, morning, night, afternoon. I actually go to sleep excited about my cup of coffee in the morning. And obviously right now all the coffee shops are closed. So I've been really becoming buddies with my Keurig. And I like a lot of creamer with my coffee. I'm like slowly trying to work my way down to black coffee because Lord knows how much sugar I'm having in the morning, but you know what, it really gets me going. A typical breakfast in the day, in the day, in the life, in the day in life of Lucy. I really love eggs, like I always crave eggs, but I think the breakfast that I have most often is one slice of wheat toast in the toaster twice. So let it pop up, put it down, pop up again, down. So it's like really, really crispy. And there is this almond butter. It's honey vanilla almond butter by RX, I believe. And it's, um, it's in a little blue uh, tub. I'm gonna go grab it. Hold on, because I'm not doing a good job of explaining it. Yes, I was right. It's RX nut butter, the vanilla, I'm out of breath, the vanilla almond butter flavor. And you put, I probably put a little too much uh, too big of a serving on, because I'm always like two tablespoons. I probably have like four to six. Anyway, you slather that on, you get a good banana and you chop it up and then you get some local honey and you just drizzle that on. And if you're really feeling crazy, you sprinkle a little cinnamon on, get your cup of coffee, seize the day. So after breakfast, I'll actually explain a, my quarantine day. I'm letting myself sleep in till like 10, sometimes 11 every day, which is unheard of for me. I'm up at 6 a.m. all the time. So this is, my body's a little out of whack. Um, so we're sleeping in, we're still making our toast, we're still having our cup of coffee. And then um, my dog Elvis, who sitting on the couch over there, we go for our first walk of the day around the neighborhood, which varies from like 30 to 45 minutes. We wave at our neighbors, we say hello. Uh, we listen to music, we listen to true crime podcasts. Usually then I'll get my workout in. And so I just got a Peloton treadmill and then I'll do like a live stream yoga or I'll do a live stream training mate, which is my favorite workout class in LA. Soul Cycle, I miss Soul Cycle so bad. It just makes me happy, it's like my church. I just think exercise is the best medicine that you could ask for. So it's a, it's a big part of my life for sure. And after that's done, I've taught myself to cross stitch Right now I'm uh, cross-stitching a little pig. He's super cute. I'm reading, I'm reading a really great book called Where the Crawdads Sing, which is just like the most beautiful written book I've read in a really long time. Then we go on walk number two with LV. A lot of FaceTime with family and friends because I've been doing this quarantine alone. I feel for people who are in a house with someone they can't stand, but I really feel also for people who are doing this alone because let me tell you, there, there have been tears but you know what, there will be an end to it all and it'll be okay, we got this. The typical lunch for me would be sushi, but like sashimi, so just the fish on top of rice. There's a place near me that does yellowtail and jalapeno with yuzu sauce. And then there's albacore tuna with crispy onions. I even like uni, which is sea urchin. I love it all. I'm a very adventurous eater. Yes, snacks always, snacks, 24 seven, I'm the biggest snacker. Um, we love, we, me, pita bread and hummus, any kind of hummus, red pepper, original, pine nut, 
garlic. They even have like Thai curry hummus and taco inspired hummus. But if we're going a healthier route, like uh, celery hearts, which is the center of the celery, it's the best part. And carrots. And when I have carrots, I share them with Elvis because my dog Elvis loves carrots. But I also love this candy called Sweet Treats. And it's like the healthier candy. And they have these peach rings, they have Swedish fish, gummy bears, sour gummy bears. There's only, I think it's like less than 100 calories per bag. And it's not like you get three pieces. That's why I'm always so pissed off. You get a bag of candy and it's like three pieces for 200 calories. No, this bag is, you get like 15 pieces. You should ask my mom this question. Does Lucy get hangry? Oh my goodness. My mom used to say, even as a little girl, she would have to fill her purse with snacks because the second Lucy turned hungry, it was game over. And I still to this day get really hangry, but I'm, I'm not like screaming and crying anymore, but I can't focus, I can't talk, I get irritable. I also love a good ice cream bar or Greek yogurt bar. I have these chocolate chip cookie dough ones in my fridge right now. Uh, but yes, to answer your question, love snacking. Snacks, snacks, snacks. I just got way off topic, lunch, <laughs> sushi, or like a good salad. I know that's so boring, like who craves salad, but I love a good kale salad with like a blackened salmon. But here's the thing about my salads. I, I like a lot of dressing. So it's like a little salad with my dressing. Sometimes I even do ranch. I know, it's bad. It's great, ranch is great. Ranch is the best thing ever. I love your product, man. I love your product. What else do I have for lunch? I love a club sandwich. I made one the other day. This isn't the healthy route, but it's the good route. So you butter two sides of wheat toast and you brown them. And then in another pan, you fry an egg. <laughs> and on the fried egg, you put, I eat, put vegan cheddar cheese, but you can put whatever cheese you want on the egg so it like melts. And then I uh, grilled up some turkey bacon. I got some uh, nitrate free turkey breast, sliced up some heirloom tomatoes. Can't forget the avocado. I had a very, very, very ripe avocado and then a uh, crushed red pepper, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard. Smack that into, smack that, get on the floor. Remind me of that song. But the sandwich was like this big, so I had a problem eating it, but it was very good. So we love a sandwich. Favorite food city, ooh. I recently went to Barcelona and that is a food city. I, I'm not even certain what I ate at some of these places. This was the weirdest thing I ate in Barcelona. Peeled white asparagus mixed with sea urchin, uni is the orange uh, goop. But it was interesting, you know? I think that's the coolest thing about travel is tasting other cultures foods. That's it's the best way to experience a city in my opinion. So usually what I do at work, I'll Postmates something. I'm a big soup eater. I think this last season of Katie Keen, I think I solely survived on wonton soup, chicken wonton soup and pho. Vegetarian pho. I choose vegetarian broth and there's a bunch of veggies in there and I put tofu and cilantro, basil, the hot sauce, bean sprouts, and it's just so comforting. I think because it was cold in New York, I just went through a soup phase. We can cheat meal lunch. Well, I usually if I'm gonna cheat, I go cheat meal dinner. And my favorite, my absolute favorite, favorite, one, well, I love food, so it's hard to like choose a favorite, but shoestring french fries with a buttermilk ranch dressing and like a really good burger. There's a place in LA called Stout. Great meat, really interesting combinations. Like they put fig on one with caramelized onions, but mainly I'm the person who, I always have to have french fries. Otherwise, what's the point? That's my cheat meal and a Diet Coke. Uh -oh. I like to eat kind of an early dinner between like five and six. I know that's really hard, my friend. Sometimes my friends want to go to dinner at 9 p.m. I was like, who, you know who you're talking to. I will be in REM sleep at the table if we go to dinner at 9 p.m. Okay, so recently I have, fought, I have a newfound love of Thai curry. I don't know why it took me 30 years to discover that I love curry. And I'm the type of person that I'll have the same thing like the same thing for breakfast, same thing for lunch, same thing for dinner, over and over and over again until I'm sick of it and don't want it for another year. So I'm on a Thai curry phase. That's probably my favorite meal as of now, but also bolognese. I love bolognese, I love pasta. I'm so guilty of in bed and being like, I want a snack, I'm bored. I bored eat too. 
Oh my goodness, frozen grapes. It's like eating little popsicles. It's so good when I have a sweet tooth because I have such a major, major sweet tooth. I always want dessert. I always want something sweet after a meal. So if you learn one thing from this video, freeze your grapes. And that is just about every single thing I eat in a day. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there.